Welcome back to Tech Mimic, where you can simply view, imitate, replicate, and get on with your day. If there is a specific issue for which you would like to see a video, please leave a comment. The configuration of fingerprint scanning differs between Linux distros. Some have it built in in the bundled desktop environment, under the user section in the settings, and some don't. I am demonstrating this on a Lenovo ThinkPad T16 with Linux Mint with the Cinnamon desktop environment. The ThinkPad has a fingerprint scanner that doubles duty as the power button. This is a fingerprint press device, not a fingerprint swipe device, but that should work just the same. The supported devices for fingerprint scanning are published on the supported devices webpage of libfprint or fprintd. The link is in the description of this video for your convenience. Check if your machine has discovered your fingerprint scanner with the command ls usb. I happen to know that the Shenzhen Goodix is my fingerprint scanner, but you will have to discover on your system for yourself what is your fingerprint scanner device. Luckily, you only need to copy and paste the USB ID on the web page, as you can see here. Searching for the USB ID shows me that my fingerprint scanner is supported and I can now continue to the next step. On a side note, if you would like a bit more information, take note of the bus and device number pair and try the commands ls usb s then the bus number colon and then the device number. This way you can specify a specific device but that will provide the same amount of information as before. If you need more, try the verbose option with the command lsusb-v-s, then the bus number, colon, and then the device number. Now that I know that my fingerprint scanner is supported, I'm going to install some packages. The first one is the dbus daemon for the fingerprint reader access. Type sudo apt install fprintd. And the second package is the pam for fingerprint authentication through fprintd. Pam means pluggable authentication module. Type the command sudo apt install lib pam fprintd. Now we need to inform Linux Mint that we want to use a fingerprint going forward instead of logging in with a password or providing the root password manually whenever we use the sudo command. Type sudo pam auth update. As you can see, the top option, fingerprint authentication, is currently not selected. Select the field and type the spacebar to mark it with an asterisk. Tap towards the OK field and hit enter. For peace of mind, I go back in an extra time to double check if the fingerprint authentication option is still selected. Now that the packages are installed and fingerprint authentication is enabled, it's time to load a fingerprint into the system. Type fprintd-enroll-f write-index-finger. Of course, you can select a different finger. The options are displayed on screen right now. Place your right index finger on the fingerprint reader or the finger of your choice a couple of times. Move your finger a little bit in between to make sure there is a good fingerprint capture. Once done, verify with the command fprintd-verify. Now from this point on, when asked for the sudo command, you will be prompted for your fingerprint. Here I have opened a new terminal to be sure there are no cached sudo credentials and when I perform a command that needs sudo, it is asking for my fingerprint. Also, the login page of Linux Mint will now ask for your fingerprint. I did restart my machine to be sure. Unfortunately, I can't record it with my recording software to show you, but it might work a bit different than you would expect. Once asked, place your finger on the fingerprint scanner let it scan for a second or so and then click login. It won't log in automatically directly after your fingerprint scan. In my experience, you have to click login after the scan, but at least you don't have to type your password. If for some reason at the login it doesn't work, just don't do anything, wait for a timeout and then you can type your password to login. 
On another Linux distro, I got the terminal to work with fingerprint scanning, but not the login screen. So your mileage may vary. That's it. Hope it helped. And if it did, please like the video and keep it up. Until next time. Bye.